In the pantheon of Hollywood actors, few possess the commanding presence and raw intensity of Ving Rhames. With a career spanning over four decades, Rhames has solidified his place as one of the most formidable talents in the industry. Ving Rhames has left an indelible mark on both the big and small screens throughout his illustrious career. He first captured audience attention in his big screen debut in 1984's Go Tell It on the Mountain, setting the stage for a prolific career spanning over three decades. Rames is perhaps best known for his portrayal of Marcellus Wallace in Quentin Tarantino's iconic Pulp Fiction, 1994, a role that showcased his commanding presence and acting prowess. His performance alongside the ensemble cast garnered widespread acclaim and solidified his status as a formidable talent in Hollywood. In addition to his unforgettable turn in Pulp Fiction, Rames has become synonymous with the Mission Impossible franchise, where he portrays the steadfast Luther Stickel. Since joining the series in 1996, Rames has lent his gravitas and charisma to the role, earning him a devoted fan base and further cementing his place in cinematic history. Beyond these iconic roles, Rames has amassed an impressive body of work, appearing in over 130 film and television projects. His film credits include notable titles such as Jacob's Ladder, 1990, Entrapment, 1999, and Don King, Only in America, 1997, for which he famously won a Golden Globe Award, graciously dedicating it to Jack Lemmon in a touching moment of generosity. On the small screen, Rames has made memorable appearances in a variety of television series, including ER, 1994-1996, The District, 2002-2003, Kojak, 2005, Gravity, 2010, and Monday Mornings, 2013. His versatility as an actor shines through in each role, showcasing his ability to captivate audiences across different genres and formats. In addition to his on-screen work, Rames has also made a mark in the world of animation and video games. He lent his distinctive voice to the character Cobra Bubbles in Disney's Lilo and Stitch, 2002, and its subsequent series, Lilo and Stitch the Series, 2003. Furthermore, Rames has provided voiceover work for several video games, including Mission Impossible, Operation Surma, 2003, Driver 3, 2004, and Call of Duty, W2, 2017, further showcasing his versatility as a performer. With his commanding presence, remarkable talent, and diverse range of roles, Ving Rames continues to captivate audiences across the globe. Whether he's portraying a fearsome crime boss, a loyal ally, or a wise mentor, one thing remains clear. Rames' impact on the entertainment industry is nothing short of legendary. Born Irving Ramesses Rames on May 12, 1959, in Harlem, New York City, Rames discovered his passion for acting at an early age. After studying drama at the High School of Performing Arts, he further honed his craft at the prestigious Juilliard School. Rames then embarked on a career in theater, earning critical acclaim for his performances in productions such as The Boys of Winter and Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Despite his success on stage, Rames struggled to break into the film industry. It wasn't until the early 1990s that he landed his breakthrough role in Pulp Fiction, Quentin Tarantino's seminal crime film. As Marcellus Wallace, a fearsome crime boss with a penchant for vengeance, Rames delivered a performance that captivated audiences and established him as a force to be reckoned with. Following his breakout in Pulp Fiction, Rames continued to impress with a string of memorable performances. In 1997, he starred alongside Nicolas Cage in Con Air, playing the menacing convict Nathan Diamond Dog Jones. His portrayal of the imposing yet complex character earned him widespread acclaim and further solidified his status as a Hollywood heavyweight. Rames' collaboration with director Brian De Palma in the Mission Impossible franchise catapulted him to international stardom. Since joining the series in 1996, he has portrayed Luther Stickel, a skilled hacker and loyal ally to Tom Cruise's Ethan Hunt. Rames' portrayal of Stickel has become synonymous with the franchise, earning him legions of fans and critical praise for his charismatic performance. In addition to his action-packed roles, Rames has showcased his versatility in a variety of genres. From his portrayal of legendary boxing trainer Freddie Roach in Don King, Only in America, to his portrayal of the enigmatic crime lord in Out of Sight, Rames has consistently delivered compelling performances that transcend genre boundaries.
While Rames is best known for his work on the big screen, he has also made a significant impact on television. In 2000, he starred in the critically acclaimed HBO television film Holiday Heart, earning widespread praise for his portrayal of a drag queen who forms an unlikely bond with a young girl. The role earned Rames a Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a miniseries or motion picture made for television, cementing his reputation as a versatile actor capable of tackling challenging material. Rames's success on television continued with his role as the titular character in the hit series, Kojak. Portraying the iconic detective Theo Kojak, Rames brought a fresh perspective to the beloved character, earning rave reviews for his performance. Throughout his career, Rames has been recognized with numerous awards and nominations for his outstanding contributions to film and television. In addition to his Golden Globe win for Holiday Heart, he has received multiple NAACP Image Awards and Screen Actors Guild Award nominations for his work in both mediums. His ability to command the screen with his powerful presence and emotional depth has earned him the respect of audiences and critics alike. As Ving Rhames continues to captivate audiences with his mesmerizing performances, his legacy as one of Hollywood's most formidable talents only continues to grow. With a diverse body of work that spans across genres and mediums, Rames has proven himself to be a true master of his craft. Looking ahead, Rames shows no signs of slowing down, with several exciting projects on the horizon. Whether he's thrilling audiences with his action-packed performances or captivating them with his dramatic depth, one thing is certain. Ving Rames remains a titan of stage and screen, a testament to the enduring power of talent, dedication, and sheer force of will. Ving Rhames' personal life. Away from his successful career, Ving Rhames has been romantically linked to several women. Let's have a look at the beautiful women he dated. Valerie Scott was the first wife of American actor Ving Rhames. The couple were married for five years from 1994 to 1999. Valerie Scott was a publicist and screenwriter. The couple enjoyed their marriage from romantic dates, shopping sprees, exotic holidays, and much more. However, this was not enough to keep the marriage intact. Just like any other marriages, the couple had their own ups and downs. In 1999, they divorced due to irreconcilable differences. Deborah Reed is the wife of American actor Ving Rhames. They got married on 25th December 1999 after Ving's divorced his first wife, Valerie Scott. The couple tied in 2000 in a beautiful ceremony in the presence of their friends, family, and loved ones. The couple tied the knot in 1999 in a beautiful ceremony in the presence of their friends, family, and loved ones. Just like other marriages, this couple have had their own fair share of troubles. The couple separated in 2011 and Ving Rames filed for legal separation in 2013. The battle took so long. Rames initially filed for the separation on September 24, 2013, and he listed the date of separation as April 2011. Deborah did not file her response until 2016. She was seeking joint legal but primary custody of the kids. Deborah was also seeking spousal support and attorney's fees. They have been married for the last 25 years. Deborah Reed is an actress known for her contributions to movies such as Soul and Flesh, 1974, Monday's Child, 1967, and Hawk, 1966. Rames refers to her as his backbone and rock. In a 2018 interview, he revealed that his wife was his everything. She was his friend, confidant, and lover. The couple have three children together, Rainbow, Freedom Rames, and Tiffany. Over the years, Ving Rames and Deborah Reed have cultivated a resilient and loving marriage, weathering life's trials and tribulations with unwavering commitment. Ving Rames' children. American actor Ving Rames has been blessed with two children from his two marriages. Rainbow Rames is the daughter of American actor Ving Rames and his second wife, Deborah Reed. She was born in 2000, a year after Ving Rames and her mother, Deborah Reed, got married. She attended school in one of the most prestigious schools in California. Not much is known about her current activities. As the daughter of two prominent Hollywood figures, many fans anticipate that she will follow in her parents' footsteps and make her mark on the screen. However, she has maintained a very private life, unlike many celebrity kids, and rarely shares details about herself on her social media accounts. Freedom Rames is the son of American actor Ving Rames and Deborah Reed. He was born in Los Angeles, California. 
He is a freshman at the Howard University, where he also plays basketball as a guard. He attended Brentwood School, boys basketball in Los Angeles, California, where he also played basketball. Freedom seeks to have his focus in playing basketball. He might become one of the best basketball stars. Only time will tell. Tiffany Reed is the stepdaughter of Ving Rhames. She was born from Deborah's previous marriage. There are very few details about Tiffany Reed's early life on the internet. Her actual date of birth and place of birth has not been made public. Her childhood experiences and educational details have also been kept from the public. It is not known which career path she has taken. Tiffany Reed has led a very quiet life, rarely revealing anything about herself, making it difficult to know what she is up to. There is no information available about her career or love life. She has not appeared in the news recently and has not been involved in any controversies or rumors. Real Estate Investment in 2000, Ving and Deborah acquired a 10,613-square-foot, seven-bedroom estate in Los Angeles for $4.75 million. Later, in 2005, they expanded their property portfolio by purchasing the neighboring 5,900-square-foot home for $6.5 million. Subsequently, they sold the second property for $5.52 million in 2010. Throughout their real estate endeavors, Rames has bought and sold several residences. These include a 4,700-square-foot Brentwood home acquired for $2.5 million, later sold for $1.95 million, a 2,120-square-foot Mar Vista property purchased for $425,000, then sold for $475,000, and a 1,220-square-foot La Canada Flintridge home bought for $629,000, eventually sold for $775,000. Awards and nominations. In 1998, Rames clinched a Golden Globe for Best Performance by an actor in a miniseries or motion picture made for television with his portrayal of Don King in Don King Only in America. This stellar performance not only garnered him accolades from the Primetime Emmys, Screen Actors Guild Awards, NAACP Image Awards, Online Film and Television Association, and Satellite Awards, but also established him as a versatile talent in the industry. Ving's contributions have been recognized across various platforms, as evidenced by his title as Supporting Actor of the Year at the 2000 Show West Convention and his DVD exclusive award for Best Actor in a DVD premiere movie for Animal in 2006. His remarkable talent has led to nominations for six Black Reel Awards, eight NAACP Image Awards, and a Blockbuster Entertainment Award. Additionally, his role in Rosewood earned him a Best Actor nomination at the 1998 Acapulco Black Film Festival. Collaborating with his Pulp Fiction co-stars, Rames also shared in the recognition of an Awards Circuit Community Award for Best Cast Ensemble in 1994. Furthermore, Baby Boy received a special mention at the 2000 Locarno International Film Festival further solidifying Rames' reputation as a powerhouse performer with a diverse range of celebrated works. Pulp Fiction, 1994. In Quentin Tarantino's iconic film, Pulp Fiction, Ving Rames played the role of Marcellus Wallace, a powerful gangster. Rames' portrayal of Marcellus was intense and memorable contributing to the film's status as a cult classic. His character's distinct voice and commanding presence added depth to the film's intricate narrative. Mission, Impossible Series, 1996, present. One of Rame's most enduring roles has been Luther Stickle in the Mission Impossible series. First appearing in the 1996 film Mission Impossible, Luther is a skilled hacker and a loyal member of Ethan Hunt's Tom Cruise team. Rames' character provides technical expertise and steady support throughout the series, making him a fan favorite. He has appeared in nearly all the films in the franchise, underscoring his integral role. Dawn of the Dead, 2004. In the 2004 remake of Dawn of the Dead, directed by Zack Snyder, Ving Rames played Kenneth Hall, a tough and resilient police officer. The film, a reimagining of George A. Romero's 1978 classic, showcased Rames' ability to bring strength and determination to a horror setting, earning praise for his performance amidst the chaos of a zombie apocalypse. Con Air, 1997. In the action-packed film Con Air, 
Ving Rhames played Nathan Diamond Dog Jones, a notorious criminal and one of the convicts aboard a hijacked prison transport plane. Rames's portrayal of Diamond Dog was both menacing and charismatic, adding to the film's tension and excitement. Baby Boy 2001 In John Singleton's Baby Boy, Rames took on the role of Melvin Mel Smiley, the boyfriend of the protagonist's mother. Melvin's character is complex, bringing both toughness and tenderness to the film. Rames' performance provided a strong counterbalance to the film's exploration of young urban life and familial relationships. Out of Sight, 1998. In Out of Sight, directed by Steven Soderbergh, Rames played Buddy Bragg, the loyal partner of George Clooney's character, Jack Foley. Rames's role as Buddy added a layer of camaraderie and loyalty, complementing the film's slick, crime-comedy narrative. Koyak, 2005. In the 2005 revival of Kojak, Ving Rhames stepped into the shoes of the titular character Theo Kojak, a tough and witty New York City detective. Originally played by Telly Savalas in the 1970s, Rhames brought a fresh yet faithful interpretation to the role. The series, although short-lived, showcased Rhames' ability to lead a television series with charisma and authority. Gravity, 2010. Gravity was a comedy drama series that aired in 2010 featuring Ving Rames as Dog McPhee, a former pro baseball player and counselor at a support group for people who have attempted suicide. Rames' performance added emotional depth and a touch of humor to the series, highlighting his versatility as an actor. 94-2009. In the critically acclaimed medical drama ER, Ving Rames made a guest appearance as Walter Robbins, a convict who undergoes surgery while under police custody. Despite his brief appearance, Rames' portrayal left a lasting impression, showcasing his ability to deliver powerful performances even in guest roles. Men at Work, Tung Tung Before. In the sitcom Men at Work, Rames guest starred as Chuck, a mentor figure to one of the main characters. His role added a touch of seasoned wisdom and humor to the show, further demonstrating his knack for both dramatic and comedic roles. Aquaman, 2018. In the DC comic superhero series Aquaman, Rames lent his voice to the character of King Atlan. Although his role was animated, Rames's distinctive voice brought gravitas and authority to the legendary figure, enhancing the series' appeal. Conclusion Ving Rames's career is a testament to his incredible range and talent as an actor. From commanding roles in action films like the Mission Impossible series to intense performances in horror movies like Dawn of the Dead, Rames has consistently delivered memorable characters. His work in television, from leading roles in series like Kojak to impactful guest appearances, further cements his status as a versatile and dynamic performer. As he continues to take on new roles, Ving Rames remains a powerful presence in both film and television, captivating audiences with every performance. Thanks for watching, subscribe.